Ashwini, thank you for joining us and congratulations on a you know, stunning concept. Uh, it's quite interesting to see that, uh, you know, uh, this concept which you've shown, which really seems to be targeted at a segment below the uh, Go, uh, is pretty aggressive in, in styling. So, just want to understand the philosophy and, let's say, the market positioning of this car. So, let me start with the, with the brand. Uh, simple principle which is global brand with local product and as we have seen that's and go and go plus which is pure local products now i think this country has graduated from starting from product i think we are starting from the customer and this this concept car has been pure representation of three things number one our commitment to this market to go step forward number two is to really have the customer insight how customer behavior is is evolving and this car this concept is for the customers who are not only optimistic but want a functionality because they want to be on the ground because they want success every morning and the, the emotions, emotions means the sentiments and this is given by the crossover finish uh, on, on, this, on, on this car. So this is a product concept which is I would say coming from a 100% local customer taste uh, out of it. Right. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to uh, understand in uh, the supplier base for this sort of a car, clearly uh, when it goes into production, which one would assume you're not going to just show a concept which doesn't have a intent for the customer, what are the real challenges in producing a low-cost car? Is it fundamentally the cost base and, and the supplier base, are they really the pivot and the key to meeting targets for this sort of a car? Yeah. I think we are just showing today the product concept. We have not entered into the engineering phase of it, but for sure um, we stick to global brand and local product, which means we do uh, development, engineering, purchasing, uh, manufacturing in that country. So if we decide in the engineering project to do this car in India, for sure suppliers are very important to us. And, and the change which we want to do by bringing these products, by making these products in India is from localization to local, which means we don't start with something which is made somewhere else. We start with what we have today. And I think as you correctly said, the key challenge is how quickly we get all the stakeholders, mainly the suppliers, onto the board, and we don't believe in, we don't believe in uh, cost targets and all. We believe in the design to cost, have the suppliers from the concept stage and start working with each other so that we achieve the best cost. And this best cost is the best cost local competitiveness of the country. Right. And, uh, uh, you, you know, in uh, looking, looking at a car like this, uh, uh, in terms of, let's say, prototypes of different body styles or, you know, what, what, is the, what is the potential of, let's say, a platform or a concept like this? Or is it very niche and focused where it's uh, not going to be too flexible so you can maximize the cost efficiency? I think when we go for uh, global product and local uh, global brand and local product, what is very important is to maximize the business opportunity through the through the scope of the target customers we have. But the key challenge for us is always to have an optimal investment because when we go for local product, our um, business case is has the limitation of economy of scales. So when we talk about economy of scales, definitely we need to have a very frugal or innovative investment. When I say frugal and innovative investment, which means we would like to use the utilization of the assets, not only Nissan, but also Alliance, because that gives us the benefit to have the efficiency and effectiveness of using all the, all the assets, which are not seen by the customer as a value, right. but which brings a lot of cost and timing efficiency. Right. And as we shared in, in our line of ceremony in Chennai, uh, what we did with Datsun Go is, because of utilization of assets, we could achieve you know, minus seven months than a normal development time. Right. So finally, who is benefited? Finally, the customer is benefited because right. we are, you know, we are time to market with the best cost. Just one uh, question, you talked about utilization of assets. Obviously, you mean sharing with Renault in this case. Clearly, the uh, Go hasn't been cross-badged. So perhaps you've lost out on some incremental volumes. Uh, how did that affect the uh, margins on a product like that? And Maybe what you would have saved, could you have put it back into some more features or something like that? Is that is that something which is, uh, you know, you've, you've considered? Because right now, Go is only Datsun. It's not shared, so still you have a limited volume. Uh, the scale is not as much as it would be if it was shared. So 
just want to understand yeah. the uh, scale impact of not having it shared with the alliance. Exactly. So, I think the the basic um, principle of Datsun is global brand, local product. Now, when we say brand, I think for us, Datsun brand is one of the important heritage of Nissan, and we believe that this brand lives with the customer, breathes with the customer, and goes hands in hand with the customer. That's why we have decided that today, Datsun will not have the cross batch either ways. So that's the first thing. Now, there are merits and there are challenges. Merits, very clearly, we, as you can see in our complete product lineup, we keep our brand signature, we keep the brand uh, consistency, which is reflected by product and the people. And product, when you look at it, you can say, oh, this tail lamp, this headlamp, this grill, it's, it's, it's brand. Now, the challenges we have is, of course, the economy of scales. Now, economy of scales, either we increase the volume or we optimize the entry ticket, which is the investment. Now, for us to match with the local customer aspirations, instead of increasing the volume, I believe optimizing the specific, optimizing the investment using the local skills and competencies makes more sense. And to be honest with you, Datsun will have a positive NPV, what we say is positive business case, because we have such a competitive investment, not because of the volume, but because of the local competencies we have used on it. Right. And uh, clearly, the case with this is we know there is a common architecture which can be used with the Alliance. So, uh, the scale effect on this technically when it goes into production or if it goes into production would be better with Renault using this and it's very important to get the scale on this because of the really positioning of it where it sits in the market. Yeah, as we enter into the engineering project, you know, we have a very positive feedback in this Auto Expo about this because we, we were really working on it since few months uh, to, to see what really customer is looking for. Once it goes into the engineering project, into the project stage, definitely, as I said, we are alliance, we believe in synergies, and the key, and the key factor, key success factor for this kind of product is going to be the utilization of the existing assets or the new assets. And we are always open to work within the alliance to maximize that effect. Ashwin, thank you very much. Thank you.